Hey folks, Dan here from the NZ Board Store. Just uh, got a couple of new things in, so we thought we'd have a quick chat about what we've got turning up. First thing, Ozone have pulled out a new pump. Uh, I think a couple of other brands are using similar ones, so it's not exclusive to Ozone, but it is certainly the first one we've seen. Uh, pretty cool, there's a few, few features. Obviously, this is a lot stiffer, this hose, so you're less likely to crease it, which is fantastic. It's still got the same couple of nozzles on the end there, nothing's changed there, um, that's pretty good. That still attaches through there quite nicely. Um, the gaff on it is that it's supposed to be 20% faster to inflate. It does look like it's got a couple of little things that are going to make it a lot nicer to use. It's a little bit taller than your standard pump. It's got angled legs, which is alright. It's got a nice little hook instead of the ball, so that's kind of working pretty well for us as well. And then your handles are a little bit more ergonomic, so a little bit flatter there. And then uh, the other thing that's quite nice on it is uh, the pressure gauge. If you can see in there, just has a nice little foam area. So the air gets sucked in through just directly under the pressure gauge when you're on the upstroke. And then, uh, so you don't get any sand into your uh, inside internals of your pump, which should make it last longer. So good on you, Ozone. That's um, a solid number. Uh, you can get these from us now. You can still get the old standard pumps as well, but these ones are the ones we will be using ourselves because, hey, we always like a bit of an easier job. So that's the new Ozone pump. Uh, they're awesome. Uh, if your brand doesn't have a pump just like it, come and get one off us. Right, so pump out of the way. First proper decent arrival of the season. Ozone Rio V4. V4 version 4. I've just pulled out the uh, 7 meter here. Standard Ozone goodness. Uh, V4's been in production since 2012, I believe. Um, sorry, the Rio, not the V4. The Rio's been in production since 2012. Pretty damn neat kite I've used most of the versions. I don't think I used, I didn't aggressively use last year's one. I tend to use this year's one a fair bit. Uh, Rio's just fantastic kites for down the line wave riding. Great for onshore wave riding, which we get a lot of in Auckland as well. Um, really nice, beautiful pivoty turning, um, which you don't necessarily want in every kite, but when you're wave riding, it's really useful to be able to reposition the kite somewhere. Um, beautiful feel on the bar in terms of the power. Um, I'm going to unpack it, show you just how the Ozone guys pack all their kites up and stuff like that, um, what you get in the bag, and then I'm going to pump it up, and I'm going to talk about all the different features that Ozone put into their V4s. Ozone's bar that gets shipped with the 7 meter V4 Rio, pretty wicked bar, uh, 45 centimeters long, 25 meter lines on this one, but you can get them shorter. Uh, Ozone obviously spec really nice lines, uh, waxed, color coded, all of that jazz, it's pretty wicked. Above the bar trim system, which is really nice. Everyone have been using that for ages. It's so simple to use. And then your standard quick release on the Ozone. Uh, beautiful quick release on this. Sorry, there's a whole bunch of paper hanging around, but quick release on the Ozone is just very easy to use. It's uh, clicked together like so. Yeah, and then when you want to release it, push it away, out she clicks. Got a Marlin swivel there for your leash, which is awesome. And then the... Uh, Leash that they ship with this kite is the short leash just for uh, wave riding. That's pretty standard, yeah. You don't really need a long one unless you're doing a lot of unhooking. Other thing I really like about it is how easy it is to unspin this quick release. Uh, so really nice. And that's your flag outline there, which we talked about um, replaceable parts. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, fantastic stuff from Ozone. Really, there's the bar. Uh, down into the replaceable parts bag. Fantastic from Ozone what they do with this. Replaceable parts bag. Uh, repair kit if some you know uh, some brands uh, ship you a tiny little piece of plastic with uh, bugger all in it in this bag there is some pretty nifty stuff what is in here so we've got a replacement flag outline for when you wear yours out because you're going to have your kite for ages that is a tube for uh, the one pump system which is great need one of those all the time a couple of clips or extra hoses for the one pump system tubes and then uh, what else you got in here? You've got uh, one of the clamps as well. You've got uh, some awesome tear aid, which is uh, for bladder repair material. 
if your cat decides to make your kite a bit of a pin cushion, and then you've got a few other bits and pieces. You've got a whole bunch of sticky back for repairing your kite, which is wicked. A whole bunch of stickers, isopropyl alcohol, and every good repair kit should have, what is it? A beer bottle opener. Need that. Most of the people I know got one of these on the key ring. So that's from Ozone, um, solid system. Uh, no one else really even bothers to go as hard as these guys go with their repair pack. Repair pack done. Let's have a quick look at the kite. Kite comes all nicely packed. You'll never pack it this good ever again, unless you're really particular. Pop open the clip, and uh, I'll pump this bad boy up. We'll hang it up up here, and uh, you guys can have a look at it. Cheers. Cool guys, so uh, this is the kite pumped up, nice green colour, uh, they come in multiple colours this year I believe there is, and I'll just double check, make sure I get it right, orange, green and blue in the colours, they do a white wingtip on all of those colourways, uh, see beautiful detailing from Ozone as per usual, their drops, um, their triple zigzag stitching, which is this stitching through here, is just damn perfect the whole way through, there's no wavering, there's no... Um, changes there. It just sort of goes to show their quality control, how uh, how careful they are with it, how important it is to them from their factory. Um, the Rio standard classic short bridle uh, from the front there, just nice little good strong grey lines there. Uh, keeps it nice and short, but it seems to get the right amount of movement through it, so you get full D power when you need it. Um, scuff patches are really low profile. Uh, just the right type of material, no rubber or anything like that, nothing that's going to get scuffed up and start hanging off, and no added weight where you don't need it. Now this kite drifts so well because they've got it so perfectly balanced, you don't want extra weight in the front, you want that kite to sit there and just sort of drift back for you, and for you to be able to catch it the whole time. Uh, three strut profile obviously, and then you've got your uh, one pump clips through here, which are damn easy to use, and a little nice bit of reinforcing down through the main section of the uh, strut, Good reinforcing on the tips here where you put most of your load through these two bridle lines and uh, really good throughout. I'm just gonna pop the camera off and uh, take you through a couple of different little areas. Sorry, this will be a bit fiddly. Just to show you sort of what they do. So obviously they use the Techno Force D2 material. Just get the camera to focus there. So you can see there's two lines of uh, rip stop for every little bit in there. That green's a bit hard, isn't it? Yeah. So there's the two lines there, and then uh, well reinforced uh, anti catch down here. Good patches down the bottom. Zips in the corner for when you need to change the bladders. Uh, right through to the top here. Uh, good Boston valve uh, inflate deflate system. That's super simple to use. Open her up there. Untwist, twist. Close the cap. Uh, zip entry for the centre if you even need to do bladder repairs or anything like that and then uh, really good canopy throughout nothing wrong with a kite like this if only they were all made this well now as to feel oh, I haven't really uh, haven't tried it myself yet so keen to get out there and give it a nudge pretty shortly as soon as we get some wind and waves hopefully in the next couple of days and we'll give you a bit of uh, detailed feedback then but uh, if I see anything like any of the rest of the Rios it's going to be ace so um, cool uh, stay tuned, I'm going to do a couple of other kite reviews as they come to market this year. Cheers. Thanks guys.